guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today i'll be showing you guys how i achieve this long juicy big passion twist braids so we're just gonna go straight into the video and we'll be starting off with cleanse deep condition hair my hair is already moisturized i use the cream of nature butter blend and flaxseed leave-in conditioner and i also combine that with the moisture miracle curling cream that combination leaves my hair super duper moisturized for days make sure you have some clips on deck you would need a crochet needle a comb to part your hair and some rubber bands and of course the hair of choice today i'll be using the tiana passion twist hair from toyo trust i had these a while back and it came pre-twisted in the pack so i'm just gonna be unraveling them to use it for today's style now if you don't have that you can just use your regular water wave hair if you're seeing me looking over to this side that's because i'm looking into the mirror so i can see what i'm doing we're gonna go ahead and start the parting process no this took me the longest like <sighs> this video is very realistic because most of us trying to do our hair at home trying to look cute on a budget we're not gonna get our parts completely bone straight so once you take your time we can get it as straight as we possibly can and if you have somebody that can help you definitely go that route but if you don't you can use a mirror at the front and a mirror at the back when you're sectioning the back so don't come for me if my hair is not the best okay we're not striving for perfection we're not <laughs> this is what the pre-twisted hair is looking like straight from the packet i do believe this is around 26 inches and you want to take your time and unravel the hair if you're using pre-twisted hair because it can knot up at the end if not then if you have some old water wave hair lying around at home you can definitely repurpose that and use it for this style I wanted to go for really large partings in this style but it's totally up to you you can choose the size of your parts based on your personal preference but i was going for something big so i did like a total of 19 twists in my head so that's approximately four to five sections in each quadrant If you would like to make your partings much cleaner then i'll recommend you using shine and jam this would help clean up your parts and also give you a nice clean section before you put in the rubber band secure the hair in place i'm using two rubber bands if you like you can oil the rubber bands before you apply them to your hair to prevent any breakage but i didn't do that this time what i did is that i took some shannon jam and passed it just around the rubber band after i applied it on the hair if you know me you know that i'm real clumsy and i almost broke the mirror it literally fell on me but anywho's i'm going ahead and crochet the passion twist into the hair so what you want to do you want to push the crochet needle through the hair you want to open the latch put the hair in the latch then close the latch and then you want to pull the hair through once you pull the hair through then you're going to make sure that on both sides it, it's even and you're good to go I used a total of five pieces of water wave hair or passion twist hair in each section so that's gonna make the twist look really thick and juicy but again it's up to you this can be a little heavy it's not so crazy but it can be a little heavy so if you want you can use three or four pieces but if you want it to look big and juicy like mine's use five Thank you. 
once you're finished crocheting all the hair through that section you want to split that hair in two and then you start twisting before I start twisting I like to take some of the shine and jam and put it on the back of my hand so it's easily accessible and then I take piece and I put it on the hair before I twist that can ensure that my natural hair blends well with the water wave or the passion twist hair and it also gives a nice shine and luster to your twist so I'll definitely recommend you using the shine and jam while twisting and this is what it looks like so I'll be doing it up close clip for you guys so you can see exactly what I'm doing and here I'm gonna speed it up just a little so I don't bore you guys but I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys watch as I repeat the steps so you can ensure that you understand to the end of the hair you just want to twirl it with your finger just to ensure that the curl is has a nice curl to the end and it is uniformed so this is how the back is looking it's looking pretty good it's not too shabby you know and I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up the front and once you're done with that you want to go ahead and lay your edges I did mine off camera I used the eco styler argan oil gel and then you want to finish up with some scalp oil I'll be using the her hair is her covering oil this is a local oil that is made in Grenada and let me tell you guys this is one of my staple oils it makes your scalp feel so good like if you have any itch if you have any dry scalp this is the oil you need to try trust me it's gonna take care of that real quick so you want to go in on all your partings and you want to apply the oil and rub your fingers through to massage that in and that's it, voila, the style is complete. As I said, I took the most amount of hours trying to part my hair, but then once that is done and you get to the twisting, the time is gonna go real fast and you're gonna finish this in probably like two to three hours. But because I was filming, it makes it even longer. So this style should be done in like two hours or hour and a half. So this is the back. I absolutely love the results. I mean, look at the movement, look at the body, look at the shine, like, mm, I absolutely love this hair. It's it's giving, guys. It's giving what it's supposed to give. It's simple. If you want to have your hair put away for a week or so, this is the style for you. If you want to maintain this style throughout the week, you can go ahead and just redo your edges and apply some foam and you're good to go. is a week old hair i'm coming back to you guys one week later this is how the hair is holding up so please bear in mind if you want this style to last longer i would suggest that you do this section smaller the bigger your hair it would tend to frizz way faster so please bear that in mind i really just wanted to put my hair away for a week or so and this style definitely did it for me and that's pretty much it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to see how i style this hair you can definitely check out the next video so check that out again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one